Read Review Outlook 2021 Suntex First half 26.1 Increase in the DPU So this video I'm just going to highlight three uh, main points because uh, as of the time of recording this video I am a shareholder so whatever I'm saying I'm biased uh, please do your own due diligence one of my friends he recorded a, a video on Suntech uh, his YouTube channel is uh, the astute parent so you can go and uh, look at it uh, so he was uh, sharing about his opinions on the Suntech uh, first half 2021 so I wanted to bring in three key points that I also wanted to express first is definitely the 26.1 uh, increase in the DPU year on year. The second thing is that uh, the co contribution of uh, the Suntech City, right? Because that was one of the initial reasons that I bought into uh, Suntech. The third one is actually the occupancy rate for the entire Suntech City because uh, if later I will go through the mechanics, so uh, stay throughout this whole video uh, to the end so that you can either uh, know what did I do with all this information did, I, did all this information allow me to continue to buy more, sell or, I, or continue to hold my positions so let's head straight because right now the, there is this COVID uh, that's come you know, uh, going on right so definitely uh, Suntech itself has to main segments, definitely the office and the retail. Uh, when I first bought into Suntech, it was really due to the convention. But after that, when I got into Suntech, that's when I discovered that, hey, I wasn't really buying into the convention. I was, I was slowly shifting towards the office and retail uh, space in the Suntech rate itself. So for COVID-19, as of recording, uh, we're still in a phase two heightened alert where uh, we can't go back to the office and I suppose the location of Suntech uh, properties right especially the Suntech city right uh, if I just zoom into this particular property uh, it's in the urban areas of Singapore and uh, the retail footfall could be affected right because there's no more uh, there's fewer office tra office traffic back into uh, its properties so uh, though it's a very good thing that uh, this first half, it was the DPU increased by 26.1, uh, but I just had a concern. So what are the concerns that I have? Definitely if you can, right now, uh, I'll just put a picture of uh, this contribution by properties. So you can see that uh, Suntech itself, it's mainly powered by this property called Suntech City, almost 43%. So since I know that Suntech City is going to contribute 43%, I will zoom into those properties and see what are the performance. And what I mean by performance, the gross revenue, the net property income, the operating, expen uh, operating expenses. It seems that if you right now look at the, I'll put a picture of the Suntech City gross revenue and the uh, net property income results uh, at, at this segment, you can see that uh, it hasn't really uh, Okay, I would say it's stagnant, right? So, if a stagnant is contributing 43%, uh, any more, any more uh, impact to this core property, Suntech City, right? Uh, it's not going to do this whole read any good. With this information, uh, I feel that I will be holding on to my positions even though I'm not selling it away and I'm not putting in uh, more capital to buy uh, Suntech read comes to the next point which I mentioned earlier uh, is actually the occupancy rate so down here I'll put the an overlay of that occupancy rate of the Suntech city um, even though the first quarter I remember in the first quarter the occupancy went up but the set but the second quarter of uh, 2021 the occupancy uh, rate came down well, how I use this information is like a foresight into probably the rental the rental revenues that uh, Suntec City can uh, collect from its tenants so with a lower occupancy rate naturally that will mean a lower uh, revenue rental revenue that they can collect from the tenants so with all these points right uh, even though yes it's a 26.1 increase in DPU which I'm kind of like uh, happy 
right? Of course, if you compare it to last year when there was a in Singapore there was a circuit breaker in the corresponding period, uh, so of course definitely an increase sh- must be expected. But if you look at the contribution, the rental contribution by Suntec City, which uh, powers up forty three percent of the entire REIT, uh, there isn't the results has been stagnant. Coupled with the fact that uh, now there's a lower occupancy rate uh, as seen by as seen in the results, right? So all these points led me to think that hey, uh, I'll probably hold on to my positions. I won't be buying, putting in more capital, and I also won't be selling because I understand that uh, in the whole in the risk game, right? It is all a marathon, right? It's making sure that uh, I stay invested in the market. So this is exactly the three points that I wanted to uh, record down in this video and just add value to you by helping you to summarize. Uh, if you are a fellow Suntec shareholder, uh, please comment in the comments below so that at least we can, uh, I can know you. If you know of other people who are Suntec uh, rich shareholders, uh, kindly tag them or forward this video to them. I appreciate a lot.